wood piles coming along nicely. Well, Wooly here. It is time. It's time to get a new chopping block. Stay tuned. Yes guys, so the old chopping block, the old chopping block, do you know, ser served me well, it's at least five years old, but look at how much must have gone down four inches there, okay, so I'm, I'm on that job at the minute, uh, doing, the old, doing that sycamore, and what I've been looking for is a good big solid lump that I can use for a chopping block. Now some of you have mentioned already, quite rightly so, that this, this one is actually too high. It's too high for the length of wood that I'm splitting. So I've sort of ended up using this one a lot, but it's quite low. So I've split the difference. So what I have is, wait until you see this, Look at that beast of a sycamore. She's a beast. A be e east. Gotta get it out now. Wait until you see this. This is gonna be an effort. I'm going to unscrew my tripod. Noise, 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 noise. It took two of us to lift it into position. Now the reason why I picked the sycamore is you saw the issues I was having with splitting the sycamore before. Well, it basically turns into rock when it seasons. I'm not saying dries, I'm saying seasons. So after a couple of years this thing should be hard as stone. Hard as stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it into the wheelbarrow without killing myself or the wheelbarrow and uh, then I'm going to take it over and put it in the position. Gently, gently. Gently, gently. Rolly, rolly. I want to go skinny end first. No one died. This is where I'm going to put it. Then still let it. Tomorrow is I'll remove this tire and put it onto the new block. So I put the skinny end in first so that I should be able to just tip this over and the fat end will land down and that's the way it will stay. <laughs> Almost nearly crushed the hedge. Now, your chopping block does not need to be level, okay, because generally the wood you're splitting is not level, so you want to be able to turn it round and move it and stuff. Looks good, but looks good. Right, so here is the plan. 
So what I need to do is I need to remove these screws, lift the whole thing off, and put her on here. Sounds simple. It always sounds simple. It's probably not going to be that simple. Let me just put you guys somewhere. Put you guys somewhere. Or he's won't fall over. Hopefully my camera's not too drunk today. Seems alright. Seems sober enough. Uh, uh. That'll do. Of course, of course it was missing. What's that old saying? There's always one. There's always one. So you can see, you can see how much the chopping block has gone down. Okay, so this was the original height of it. Look at it now, which actually isn't that similar from from the new block. So I have to try and get one more screw out. Okay, so here's the plan. Place the tire here. Whew. being is that we have these little mystery holes that could be some sort of caliber of rifle mm. probably two twos but hey
So what I like doing is I like leaving a little gap, but I don't know if I'll bother on this one. The reason being is that you can scrape all the all the all the stuff out onto the ground and then you don't end up having to reach into the reach into the yoke with the thing thing on it, you know? Solid. One more for luck. Right, so I do have this other one here. I don't know why I have an inner ring for it. I don't know what was the point of that. Camera's on the piss, lads. Sorry about that. It must have been out last night. Slightly hung over. It is early in the morning. And that's it. All done. Now, the reason why I have two tires, right, is that I want this inner ring, okay, to hold my logs, but uh, it's really hard to get the screw gun in, so I've actually cut this section out of the first tire so that I can get my screws in. Now, I don't have one of those fancy right angle screw guns or anything like that, so that's it. Guys, I hope you found this beneficial in some way, at least. You got to laugh at Wooly struggling to do a very simple job that took him 20 minutes, okay? So, that's it. New chopping block. All this wood to chop. And if you're into wood chopping, guys, stay tuned because I have another video coming up that might interest you soon. Stay frosty.